Okay, we are here, you guys. It has arrived. Okay, I'm literally the most excited ever. How amazing. Yeah, we're gonna do an unboxing um, for the new iPhone 10 S Max. I'm literally the most excited ever. I can't even. You can just unbox her. This is the 256 gigabytes. And this one is in rose, gold, or just gold. I brought my scissors for nothing. <gasps> OMG. So you get your information packet right here, duh. And then here's the phone. Look at her. Beautiful. Look at that. I I come from this, so I don't know about the tennis. This is my current iPhone. This is the, the iPhone 7 Plus. This one is 128 gigabytes. And this one is how many? 256. So we're getting more. My phone has gone through it. It's not broken, thank God. We have this phone, which is insane for me. So you obviously get your information packet, you get your little cube, you get your earphone, and you get your cord connector. I don't know if you're gonna get your the SIM card, device modulator, whatever. Apple stickers, oh you do! Okay, so you get your Apple stickers, duh, you have Apple stickers, information, and then you get this, which is the, the SIM card thing. Like your SIM to take out your SIM card out of your phone to the new one. <gasps> ah! Let's get into it. Let's just see. I don't know how to turn this on. Let's just see. You can see. <gasps> Do you see the apple? <laughs> Look at this. It's on. Oh my god. Literally, I waited. I don't know. I waited three days for this one to come to my house because it was not in the store. So, yeah. But I had to wait like a couple of weeks since the. Oh my god, is that hello? I had to wait a couple of weeks um, after the launch because I think it was officially in store September 28th, I think. Or you should receive it by the 28th. It is October 10th. So I waited like two weeks. <gasps> it says Bonjour. United States, set up manually. I don't want to do this because I want to have it look amazing. Thank you so much. Sorry, I have a hot mess here. As you can see though, like, the screen here, you guys can see like it's pretty much the same size. This is just a lot, like the screen is a lot larger, which is crazy. <gasps> ID. Should we do it? Okay, let's continue. <gasps> today yes exciting okay so it's going simple <gasps> it said hello so oh wait go back oh it's basically just teaching me how to use a new iphone because i have no idea so the thing about the new iphone brand a new screen this is a super retina oled screen is including the largest display ever on an iPhone, even faster face ID, the smartest, most powerful chip, A12 Bionic chip, which is the smartest, most powerful chip in a smartphone. Um, depending on what phone you guys have, there's different preferences. I know my some of my friends like Android. 
I personally hate them, but you know, up to you. I personally love Icon, so this is what I feel like it's for me. Um, so yeah, this one is really amazing because it's especially made for augmented reality experiences, including portraits with depth control. So it has like really awesome camera functions. Yeah, the Super Retina display is an OLED display on the iPhone XS to deliver accurate color HDR, which I'm super excited for because that means that the camera is going to be amazing. The iPhone XS Max, which is the one that I have right here, this one is a 6.5 inch, while the normal one is a 5.8 inch. If you guys can see the difference, the iPhone XS Max to like an iPhone a plus there's just a huge 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 difference with the screen and how much it can capture it is made out of the most durable glass it's supposed to be the most amazing glass you could ever have obviously I have the gold finish it's a new level of water resistance and dust resistance you can only get it in the gold the white or the space gray and this phone does a lot of wireless charging. I think you just have to buy it from those two brands that do make it. I know there's not a lot or there's like an actual Apple one. It goes through like Mophie. So I've had it for a couple hours. It is 8.42 now. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I had to go watch The Star is Born. And I kind of feel like it's kind of already, I kind of got used to the new screen and like the new function. Like I just have to push up to go home through the middle or I can just hold it on here if I want to transition through an app um, and then I just kind of have to go push down on the right hand side to kind of bring the control center and then if I want to do the center or the left side for the notification center so it's really easy to kind of get the maneuver with um, the only thing I was trying to look for cases right now because I did get a new glass protector for the front because I know I'm a mess. but I couldn't find any so far because they're all sold out but with the A12 Bionic chip it's supposed to be 50% faster with graphics it's supposed to be 50% faster performance wise it'll be 50% lower power usage and efficiency enhanced image signal processor so these cameras has a wide angle lens, telephoto lens, a faster processor with smart HDR across your photos. You get depth control and you get 4K video up to 60 frames per second. It has a brand new dual camera system in the back. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a picture through the iPhone 6 the iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 8 Plus, and the iPhone XS Max to see a difference here in my studio lighting. This is the iPhone 6S. And this is with my old phone, the iPhone 7 Plus. It's in the beautiful pink hardware. Okay, so with the 8 Plus, this one doesn't allow you to do portrait mode on the front. So I'm just going to take a picture. Okay, and now I'm going to take a picture. As you can see, those are other differences between those different iPhone pictures. So with this, you can edit the aperture, which is very interesting. Enhance bokeh effect to the background to give that blurry effect. It's called adjustable depth control when you're editing your portraits, only in portrait mode. True depth camera is supposed to be like super cool because it like takes all these different pictures so you have the perfect photo at the end. Ridiculous phone can go up to 512 gigabytes of storage, which is expensive and a lot. Anyways, that is the entire unboxing for this new iPhone XS Max. I hope you guys enjoyed this techie side of me. I'm trying to bring you guys different videos in the midst of Halloween videos. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like this video and I will see you in my next one.